What is up brothers, my name is Soy and I know we're already at the second week of April but the spirit of April Fools haven't really left me so I decided to go with a more light-hearted video for this week. In this time of hardship, I think everybody could use a little bit of fun so stay home, enjoy YouTube, play Brawl Stars with me, let's make sure that we all are doing our part to get through these hard times. Now, who doesn't hate bad randoms? Especially in 3v3 modes like Brawl Ball, randoms could make or break your game. Sometimes they'll do great and all of you would hit play again. But most of the times, bad randoms pick these particular brawlers and ruin your games. Here are the top 5 brawlers that are most likely played by bad randoms. At number 5, who doesn't know Shelly? As the very first brawler that every player get when we all started our Brawl Stars journey, Shelly are blessed with simple mechanics. But instead of showing firm understanding of the basics, randoms that use Shelly in Brawl Ball usually would just camp in bushes and then they die and then they never use their super. Even when they do use their super, it's usually from like 5 tiles away instead of from point blank range the way it is intended to be used. Some Shelly players might know the kick and shoot technique to score goals. Therefore, they'll spin as hard as they can to demand the ball from you, not realizing that they doesn't need to be the one who kick the ball. They could just destroy the obstacles and let their teammates score. Good Shelly players are rare. Most high trophy Shellys got their trophies from Showdown when Ban 8 star power was still broken. If you haven't seen my tips for playing Shelly in Brawl Ball, check out the link in the description. At number 4 is my main man Brock. There are some Brawl Ball maps where Brock could rock like Backyard Ball or Pinball Dreams. But generally, Brock is not the greatest pick for Brawl Ball, especially if you haven't got his dribbler stopping gadget. When a bad random picks Brock for a Brawl Ball match, you can almost immediately see it. He'll miss most of his shots. And since Brock doesn't have an awfully high DPS, you'll rarely see him kill any opponents. Well, aside from some lucky third-party kills. A half-decent Brock would at least destroy the obstacles on opponent's goal. But let's face it, most bad random Brocks would be too busy dying or missing shots. At number 3, there are tanks who are too confident with their tanking abilities. Most of the times, it would be a primo. As soon as the match starts, they'll take the ball and run for the goal, as if there are no opponents. Of course, he'll immediately die. And now, you and your other teammate have to play 2 versus 3 against opponents with fully charged supers. Sometimes a bull does this, sometimes it's a Rosa, sometimes it's a Frank, but most of the time, it's a primo. I have absolutely no idea where they learn to play Primo like that and it broke my heart because Primo is one of my personal favorite and arguably the best brawler in Brawl Ball. So if you know anyone who still plays Primo and suck, show them my tips on how to play the king of Brawl Ball appropriately. Link in the description. In runner-up, I'ma put Brawltopia's sweetheart, which is Piper. Piper have insanely high skill cap to play. That alone should stop most casual players to perform well using Piper. But on top of that, Piper's stats or mechanics doesn't help her inside Brawl Ball. She doesn't have health, she doesn't have speed, she doesn't have DPS. And her ability to break obstacles or stop dribblers are far from ideal. Sure, 
Just like Brock, she could do really well on open maps like Backyard Ball or Pinball Dreams. But if you're not Hagego from the Jupiter team and your aiming skills are weak, there are better picks like Jean, who could deal practically guaranteed damage from long range. Or let's say Penny, who could still get value from her turret even if she's missing her shots. But of course, Bad Randoms always refuses to see these better options because they're bad. Did you guess who said my number one? The worst brawler that Bad Randoms always pick for Brawl Ball is none other than the Prince of Darkness himself. The failure of trick shots, the hugger of ball, the feeder of opponent super, the original steal your win, it's the creature of the night, it's top hat modis. Of course, this is the point where people would just go to the comment section and drop YDE's name, probably explain in length that you need to get good in order to play modis in brawl ball. But again, this is a lighthearted video and I am no Kairos time, so I won't argue with anyone. What I'm trying to say is whenever I do find a good Mortis in Brawl Ball, they are usually Rockabilly Mortis. If you rewind this video for about 40 seconds, you'll notice that I did set Top Hat Mortis. Yeah guys, I don't know what is it with Bad Randoms and Top Hat Mortis, but it seems to me that the worst of randoms who plays bad modus always went for the top hat. I wonder why. Anyway, for me, Mortis might not be the best for Brawl Ball, but he is definitely a golden S tier best brawler for getting views on YouTube. One of my most viewed video is actually about Mortis in present blunder. Rest in peace, it was a good mode. Even in that video, I never wear the top hat. If you don't believe me, just go check it out. Well, I hope you all enjoy our little fun countdown for this week. Hit like if you do, hit dislike and tell me why in the comments if you don't. And don't worry, because next week, I'll be back with our regular Brawl Ball tips that will make you a better player inside Brawl Stars. So, sub and share if you haven't already. Please stay safe everyone, stay healthy, wash your hands, take your vitamins, and until the next one, my name is Soy, signing out.